Hi guys, my name is Kiera, but here on the internet I go by Hobo Kiki. And today we are planning in my Hobo Nichi cousin. Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. This was last week. We're moving forward here. And we'll be planning for March 4th through the 10th. The 10th is a very special day. It is Mario Day. It's also my son's birthday. And we actually have Daylight Savings Day on this day as well. That was a lot of days. <laughs> but yeah, so the 10th has a lot going on. I do want to make a cool like homage to Super Mario because of course the 10th is Mario Day and my son loves Mario and I love Mario so why not I'll be using this official Super Mario sticker book I just picked this up from well I didn't just pick it up but I'm letting you know that it was picked up from Walmart <laughs> but yes and there are a few things that I know I want to do such as this page. Uh, I am trying to focus more so on the cheap cheaps. So I do want to color this in and bring this in somehow. And then what else we have? It would be cool to kind of pull this page out as well. And also this page here with the princess's castle. You can't see it, there you go. So I have a lot that I have planned in mind. I'm also thinking about taking Let's see, as you can see, I bookmarked everything. But taking these boxes out here, I'm going to cut them out and let them be like my boxes for the week. I think that would be kind of cool. We can get started on that now. This is going to be a very unconventional spread. <laughs> I'll let you guys know that now. I did just want to try to experiment here. This is a bounded book so I have to be careful I really want there we go I really want these boxes I'll just go ahead and uh, tape them well this is scaring me because it's not meant to do this but you know me I just gotta be different okay good there we go Perfect. We'll start by cutting these bad boys out. If this is a, not enough boxes for me, which I have a feeling it might not be, then I will just bring in boxes from um, the Happy Planner sticker books. I still have the colorful boxes sticker book that I can use, and I think I'll just bring that in if this isn't enough. So I'm just going to cut these out really quickly. I'm sure you guys don't want to see this. This is kind of boring little tedious work so I'm going to cut these out and then I'll be back to you okay I'm back like I never left and I added some decoration here to give in to that Mario theme but here are the boxes that I just cut out they actually fit pretty well here if we want to do something like that we could easily I am going to just go ahead and cut out the other things like this here that needs to get cut out and um, this here. And then also that cheap, cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut out and come right back to you. Okay, so I've cut everything out here. As you can see, I have a few pieces here. I do want to put like water under here. I know that's not necessarily how it looks on the Mario courses, but I do want to add my giant cheap, cheap here. So it needs some water and I'm thinking I'll put him like right there as if he's jumping out. So we'll probably put water all right here. I have my blue color pencils or good blue color pencil is just one. And I think I'll just add the water about at the 20 hour mark here. And I am going to color him. I know Cheap Cheap is red and yellow. I'm just going to make sure I'm looking at him so I know for sure I don't get him wrong. And he kind of has peach lips, so I'll have to grab a peach. Okay, secured the peach, and we're just going to color him in, you know? 
I really do love how this spread turns out in the end. I think it's so fun. I rarely ever have whole scenes in my planners uh, just because it does take up a lot of space. I'm not going to lie, but it just looks so amazing. And because I have a lot of like celebration going on this week, not a lot of like work, work to do stuff, I think it's okay to have a scene this week so I can really just celebrate my son and celebrate uh, Super Mario, who really has had a big impact on me. If you are an OG subscriber, you know I am a gamer and it all started with Mario. So I, I do feel like I have to make or pay homage to Mario because he really got me started to where I am now. And of course, like I said, my son loves him as well. So it just seemed like a no brainer to do a Mario spread this week. I do want to encourage you guys to get a little creative. If you don't have like a special sticker book or a special sticker kit, you can always use scraps from like newspapers or uh, magazines or just print something out and cut around that and glue stick that into your planner and make a great scene that ties into the theme of whatever you want for that week. So hopefully like the goal is to encourage you to try uh, different mediums other than stickers because I'm not going to lie, buying stickers can get quite expensive. So if you already have things like coloring books laying around, definitely color in a a page of a coloring book that's essentially what I'm doing here and then cut that out and tape that into your journal and boom then we'll color the water again this is not something that I would recommend every week because it does so clearly take up a lot of space however the weeks where you're just celebrating something or you don't have a lot going on it's perfect for and honestly, when's the last time you colored in a coloring page? Because for me, it's been a while. And I don't know why, but this put me in such a great headspace. It was like a form of meditation. I just kind of cleared my mind and and just colored. I don't you know what I think? I think it was just me allowing my inner child to shine and that really put me in a positive space. So I do think I am going to have to color in coloring books more often because I really enjoyed my short time doing this. All right, let's go ahead and move this so we can color our water down here, which we've marked at the 20. It doesn't have to be like the smoothest ever blend. We're just getting colored down really. Some parts can be darker, some parts can be lighter. You know, that gives it that wave kind of look. I'm not going for neat at all really. Just putting some color down on the page. That's all we're doing. There we go. Do that on the other side. The other side is going to be a little harder just because there are stickers. But that's fine. We'll work with it. So as you can see, the imprints of the stickers are showing. But luckily, I was using bubble stickers, so it kind of works with the year water motif as you can see you can see the little bubbles here which is fine it works with the water a lot of this will be covered by the squid sticker or the squid piece of paper that i'm getting ready to put down there we go so as you can see boom a lot of that gets covered so that's perfectly fine we'll probably cut that in half and put that over here and we'll get cheap cheap Something like this. So he can still be jumping out from that splash. And then I can just uh, draw the lines there. 
that looks good but we definitely need to make sure we get our castle down so this is going to look something like this Okay, that looks good. The only thing that we need to do is glue everything down. So let me grab my glue stick and my tape runner. We're thinking like right here-ish. That looks great. Where are my scissors? Oops, sorry, didn't mean to hit you there. Okay, we'll connect these. Let's go ahead and cut these all. Perfect. And then the other side as well. Boom, love that. And then I actually have a Mario sticker that I want to use. Let's see if this is what's tagged here. Yep, you guys see this sticker right here? Mm -hmm. Can you see it? There we go. That will be perfect. You kind of see, you see the guys are already standing here. I'm going to use it to cover up this finished spot. There we go. And then I am going to see if there's another small Mario sticker that I can use of maybe him like running Hmm, okay, we can take this one. And I don't want to forget about these. That'd be kind of cool. Let me slip this behind there since it wasn't glued down properly. Give myself some space, you know, to right here. I wonder if I can peel him up. Nope. He is, okay, I got it. So I can place that box there. Then I think I will take some black boxes from Colorful Boxes here, Happy Planner. These. I can mark my son's birthday here, like that. There we go. Let's get this bad boy glued. Kind of glue down these buildings a little bit more. Like I said, this is pretty cheap glue right here. There we go. Let's get this side taken care of. I'm going to pull some more of these.
think I will put a box here just to kind of like cover up that these seams don't quite match. Let's go ahead and get this guy down. I'm just going to measure really quickly. Probably cut them off about right there. Then I'm just going to glue this really quickly. I'll do that off camera, get these basically glued in place. Okay, everything is essentially glued in. So I'm going to take my Tombow Fudenosuke and kind of try to make these lines connect. Even though I know I didn't put Cheap Cheap in the correct, correct place, but I feel like I can still make it work. So he still kind of looks like he's splashing out. And we can put watermarks here, boom. And I think I'll also just put like a little line here, showcasing that's where the water starts. There we go. And let's see if we have any more cheap, cheap stickers. But this is basically coming to an end here. Daylight tip savings time starts here. We'll put that here. There we go, perfect. Okay. Let's see if I can find more cheap, cheap stickers. Give me a second, I'm going to look through the book and find out. Okay, so I did find a couple more cheap, cheap stickers. Either that one's going here or here. I feel like he needs to go here. Remember, the theme is the, the fish for this month, so he has to be prevalent. Let's get him stuck here. And then we'll get this guy over here. Perfect. And then I did find this Celebrate that uh, it matches this font. So I'm just going to find somewhere to stick this. Let's go ahead and take this red color pencil and write in uh, Mario Day. Brunoske again to right day. And then I can have like to task and to do's right here. Matter of fact, let me go grab the pen for that. We'll put it up here. And that's basically it, you guys, for this week's spread. We'll put my important task or events in the boxes and just keep it pushing. I really like how this came out. It's fun. It's scenic. It's cute. It really is. I don't know what I want to do with this part of here where it kind of just doesn't mean anything. I don't know, but I still like it. Okay, I've decided what I wanted to do, at least here. I have these very famous Mario quotes here. Yippee! I'm the best. Let's -a go. Okie dokie. Here we go. So I think I'll probably like spread that around the spread a little bit. 
I did add this just to um, kind of like match that side. You guys know I like to bring the same elements into one side here. I think I'll also make like ripples over here. Just so it doesn't look like it's, you know, its own thing. Kind of incorporate it a little bit more here. There we go. It feels like it's more inclusive now. <laughs> All right, let's get those quotes. I'm definitely going to do, here we go, or let's go, one of those. Probably let's go this time around. Put that like right here. That'd be kind of cute. And let's see, where can I fit another script? Something right here. I'm the best. We'll get that sticker in there. I'm not the best, but Mario is. And then maybe one more over on this side, just to make sure I'm bringing it around enough. Let's do... I don't want to do here we go, even though that's one of his most iconic lines because I've already got let's go. So maybe I'll do yippee. How does that look? I kind of want to bring that in here. There we go. There we go. And I think that's it. That's it. I'm going to call it. <laughs> because you guys know I can go ham with the stickers and I'm not trying to do all that. This is the final spread. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Hold on. Let me get it with this switch in my hand. Eww. That's going to be my... um. What is it called? Thumbnail? <laughs> All right. You guys, this was actually a pretty fun spread. I had a lot of fun just experimenting here. I hope it encourages you to try something new in your planner. If you like this video, feel free to like the video. If you dislike the video, feel free to leave a dislike, bro. It's okay either way. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, bye.